everything in this video can be found on a public domain, and the full disclaimer is down below. Hey, welcome to the Danger Zone. It's Ashley. I wish you lots of loving, many blessings. Good news, y'all. Megan is willing to finally accept the royal family's apology that they owe her, so everybody can move on for the sake of Prince Philip. Out of nothing but respect for Prince Philip, she's willing to forgive every single royal that wronged her. That's crazy. In the middle of his granny's morning, he actually put that out there on the table. I cannot imagine how Prince William felt when he heard that, or how hard it would have been for him to contain himself. I don't think I could have done it. And Harry and Meghan have put out there, they have massive regrets over the Oprah interview. The timing, that is. According to their buddy, this is something that totally had to get done. They needed this off of their chest. Timing was totally out of their control. And if they had to go back and do it again, for the sake of validating their feelings and the suffrage that she went through, they would do it all over again. Megan has convinced Harry that being back home feels really weird without her by his side. He's just not felt comfortable being there. And we all know she couldn't possibly go through security wearing a baby bump. People around Harry are now saying that she's kept him on the phone like 85% of the time since he's been there. She's trying to isolate him and control him from a distance. And when asked about it, he's given the excuse he really misses Megan. Even more bizarre than that, you guys, when he's not tied up on the phone with Megan, he's on the phone with her mom. She's there for him like a counselor through his turmoil and grief. But wait a minute. When her daughter was losing her stuff, why didn't she step in and counsel her? Someone with Megan's personality, their biggest fear is losing control. They can't stand for somebody to get in their way. If his family try to talk to him solo, oh no, that's not gonna work for her. That's a total loss of control. And people like Megan will manipulate the situation any way they can to keep folks from getting in between her and Harry. Keeping him tied up on the phone and away from family functions and gatherings. Man, that's the name of the game right now for her. So between Megan and Doria, Harry's just not had a single minute to himself. Not with his family, it's not gonna happen. I would not be shocked or surprised if he had to have her on the phone tucked away in his pocket during the funeral service. She is a grade A toxic, narcissistic human being, and that's just the way they operate. I have personal experience in a relationship just like that. I know the misery he's in, and they like to play head games. Like one phone call, they'll be super sweet, and the next phone call five minutes later, they're angry. I know that's what he's going through. Nobody can figure out why he's acting so reserved and strange. Well, this is why. I wanted to point this out really fast before we move forward. Harry is telling everybody how he's really missing Megan. If you were really homesick, wouldn't you be not only missing your spouse, but your child also? They're always leaving this child out, no matter what they're doing, whether it's a pregnancy announcement or homesickness. To parents, including your child, should absolutely come naturally. They'll really need to work on that if they plan on doubling up, that is. Speaking of working on things, Harry has a new job. Emerald Robinson is a journalist. She's known best for her straight shooter delivery. The other day, she let the cat out of the bag. Bill Gates and George Soros have teamed up with not only Katie Couric, but also Harry to fight disinformation. They're putting together a task force with the Aspen Institute where Harry now works to go after and censor all of this quote-unquote fake news and disinformation. They're playing a dangerous game. They're running with some nasty people. But in my opinion, you guys, everything is coming together very well. This proves that all their lawsuits against the Daily Mail and all this other jazz was totally premeditated. This is to fit the narrative. This entire relationship, this whole shebang was totally premeditated. This is nothing more than a setup. That's just my opinion. I guess Harry was the hollow head that would fall for it. And they sunk their claws into him big time. They're going after our freedoms. Truly. I'd like to know your thoughts and opinions on Harry being a part of this task force. I hope you're having a good day today. I'll see you soon and we'll talk fast. Please stay safe and be blessed.